Um, I consider myself somewhat of an expert in individuality and in being yourself. And um, I used to think society was made of individuals. And then I realized, no, individuals are the fruit of a society. Some of the rhetoric in this is, is the semantic conflict between uh, technical definitions and, and our actual working understanding of something, right? So obviously, uh, technically, you can count the people and then just say the group is made of that number and so on, right? <coughs> but, just, uh, just uh, the same, you could say that a person stripped from his, uh, from all other people, taken and putting on, uh, like putting on that, put on another planet, and there's no, just him, no society. Now he, by the technical definition, is an individual. And by our working definition, he'd face a lot of the uh, issues of individuality. But would he, for example, go crazy? Is that individualism, to, to be crazy? If he was already uh, an individual, would he be better at handling that? Does being an individual have anything to do with whether or not you can have relationships? Whether you're able to or have the opportunity to? Okay, so the technical definitions, you know, they, they have a certain meaning, but when we're really trying to get to the gist, for example, what we mean by individual when we're praising individuality, what we mean by individual when we're criticizing individuality, um, they're not so simple. Because a man jumped into a forest, uh, he's going to have to do what any man dumped into the forest would do. He's going to have to react very similarly. He's going to have to scramble himself some um, uh, shelter and figure out what's edible and whatnot. So, just to take this as a hypothetical thing, because we know if we drop two different people, they, they do different things. But let's say two people both had the same knowledge, the same training. You know, they knew how to check out if something was edible. They knew plants equally well. But they have different tastes in music. They have different hobbies, things like this. Those two guys, they're going to do the same thing when they land on that. They're going to use their survival knowledge and be doing exactly the same thing if their knowledge were the same. And it won't be until they establish some sort of order, like a social order consisting of one person, that they can bother taking time to paint and or and make a musical instrument or somehow do something where they're going to express their individuality, the optionality. Okay. Now one thing I think about individuality that most people don't get, they, people think that um, finding out what they like and not is, is your individuality. Some people just assume they already know those things, but those are just impulsive mall dwellers, basically. Most of us know that, hey, there's some time to put into, well, what do I like? Wait, do I like my tea this way, or do I like it that way? You know, these little questions, sometimes we get obsessed with, even, and we discover, we're discovering ourselves. I don't believe that's individuality. Because I believe we're all born here and given a set of uh, received opinions in the very memory banks <laughs> that act individually or not. And so, in order to be an individual, you have to change who you are. An individual can choose how they want to be. That's the level of individuality. Individuality is not uh, the ability to follow your impulse because that impulse wasn't individualistic. You're initially given impulses by social conditioning. Let me just subtract biological ones. You know, like, okay, you want to breathe. But 
um, you have to direct yourself. And the reason this is, is because you are going to change anyway. If you discover what you like as you grow older, you're going to find that's changing. You're going to discover, if you pay attention long enough, that you're changing. You're not discovering some essence. You're just taking heartbeats of something that's constantly changing. And for some reason, you want to pretend that it is a certain way when it is constantly changing. So it's really becoming something. So truly uh, exercise your individuality. You have to be involved with that process. According to my qualitative feeling-based idea of, of uh, individuality. Um, well, I have some more to say about individuality, but I guess I'll leave it at that for the moment.